All right, Chris, so second video um, from face on. So when you get set up, again, you have the ball position kind of back in your stance, and then you have the club even further back, and then it's kind of pressed forward. And so whenever you have that much shaft lean, like this is a, this is a 50 degree wedge. And if I put it that far back, and it's pressed that far forward, that's essentially making that 50 degree wedge like 40 degrees. And so it's not really the actual loft of the club. Um, what I would do is I would put the ball more in the middle of the stance, and then I would put the club a lot closer to the golf ball and even check, you know, like that's that leading edge is square there. And like when the ball's in the middle of your stance, and you have the club more in the middle and you don't have it pressed so far forward, you just kind of have it going to maybe your, your lead hip or just inside your lead hip, that puts the club in a more neutral position to where that's more of the actual loft. And then if I were to put it like way up here, well, that would be, that would be actually adding loft to the club, you know, not pressed forward, just neutral here, more straight up and down. You want a little bit of shaft lean, but not much, you know, and if it's forward here, you know, that makes this 50 degree more like a 55. Um, so I think for you, it's about kind of understanding, okay, if I have a wedge and the ball's in the middle of my stance and I have, and I have this club neutral, now I'm using more of the actual loft of that club. Um, so that's the biggest thing that I can tell you with the setup from face on.